Hi there and welcome to another episode of Andy Robinson RC and cheers for joining us today and uh, we're still <laughs> at uh, the Bridge House Farm Tea Rooms in Ray. Why oh, is a car going past as well? Um, yeah so we're at uh, the same location as uh, we're doing a few videos today. Now if, again um, this is the the running video from a video that I've, uh, I've already done if you've already seen it. That was on the Tamiya Grasshopper clone by Echo uh, RC and it was a Echo RC uh, Grand Race Flash Hopper. Now what I wanted to do as I said in the other video is um, I wanted to transfer the body off that and the, uh, the, the, the nudge bars and the front bumper and transfer them onto a normal Tamiya Grasshopper because the parts all fit and I just thought it would make a, a nice custom grasshopper. Uh, so that's essentially what we've done, that's what we've got in front of us there. Now since um, making the original video on this, where I was going to tell you what I was going to do, I came across this one on uh, eBay and this is another, it's, a, it's again it's a, a clone, um, it's an Echo RC flash hopper but it's just a different um, colour scheme and that's how it comes in the box. This actually did come in its box and this one still works and all the lights work on it and again in theory you could take the parts off and swap them to a, a, another grasshopper so anyway I'm going to show you that working in, in, in this video and you can see what it would have been like if you got that as a kid in the, uh, in the, in the late 80s so I said this was uh, from 1987-88 and all I've done, I have to stand up now before I get cramped <laughs> now what I've done here is I've used a pre-existing car I've got it's my uh, Tamiya Grasshopper Black Edition, hence the uh, white springs and fluorescent wheels. Now what I did is I took the body shell off the other car and you're not going to really see it too much because um, it's all fixed down. But I dremeled all the lugs off inside so nothing was going to uh, get in the way of mounting it to the chassis. So, And I also had to take the driver cockpit out and I had to trim some of that down because it was actually sat um, lower down in the uh, on the car so it would have rubbed in on the chassis um because the chassis on these is hollow pretty much a hollow tub this has got bits and pieces in for it for, like for the battery and the electrics where that works solely off the controller anyway um so i dremeled it all out so we could get the body on and then uh, I, I didn't do it because i didn't i didn't have a drill believe it or not uh, my dad just drilled two holes there to mount this on the existing uh, body holes from the grasshopper and then what I've done at the back because it was kind of hard to mount um, now I didn't make anything but what I've done is I've got two hooks they're like those uh, I can't remember the make of them now um, anyway there's basically two stick on hooks that I've got and uh, what I've done then is I've got some two bands black elastic bands hooked them on the back and around the uh, suspension gearbox uh, mount there and it's just to keep that on there because the thing is as well i don't want to make this permanent i want to turn it back into my uh, black edition grasshopper i just wanted to do it as an exercise to make it you know so show you you could use one of these body shells and you could make a nice bit of a you know a custom looking uh, grasshopper uh, so that's what we've done now cover other points to notice as you can see it's all filled in the back there um, on these bodies not like the original one and also that is a shorter it's longer on the grasshopper and it's a bit shorter on this body for some reason um, and what else did i do as well oh i did as well i painted the roll bars at the front and like sort of like the uh, engine vents there i painted them up as well just to make it a little bit better and i also went round the body with some some paints and some markers basically and just tidied up the edges just to make it a bit neater really so that's all I've done, but I think it looks quite cool and I especially like it with the uh, Black Edition wheels. Uh, anyway, we're going to put this down and I'll show you driving about. Now I know you've probably all seen a grasshopper driving about, uh, but I thought it'd be nice to see this zipping around um, since I finished it off. Anyway, so we'll give it a bit of a blast. Uh, it's pretty standard, I think it's got 540 cam motor in and it's ball race and that's about it but we'll give it a bit of a, a drive on here I mean it does what a grasshopper does which is bounce around 
and hot. <laughs> Noisy, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, I think mean, it looks quite cool driving about. Of course, because I'm filming, the car wants to come out now. That's brilliant, thank you very much. <laughs> anyway, I'll just pull off uh, onto the grass. And then, out of the way, let that car go. But yeah, I mean, it'll go on the grass. It just struggles a bit on here because of the, uh, the uh, slightly sand paddle tyres. To do with Hornet ones on the other. Anyway, there you go, back on here now. But yeah, as uh, you know, I mean obviously it just looks like the grass off but I like the body on it. And I think the driver figure looks brilliant in these. It's much more, it's a better driver figure than the uh, Tamiya ones you get. I mean you can really go into detail on these as well. I've left it pretty much standard. But, but yeah, looks cool. <laughs> I know it looks good uh, driving about. It's a shame the lights didn't work, but I had to put the wires on this one. I suppose I could re-rig them up, but uh, I don't know, it might not work now because I had to glue some of the lights back on because they, they, come, they snap off so easily. Cool. Right, well we'll bring this one back and then what I want to do is... What I want to do is, <laughs> I want to show you what it would have been like getting one of these as a kid. Now, you could, I don't know if you'd have got probably these from like, um, you know, a supermarket or something at the time, I don't know. Um, <laughs> this is pretty, pretty funny. Well, look at the massive wire on it, it's ridiculous. It's like a skipping rope. I don't know if it's struggling or the batteries are dead already, but these were new in yesterday. Anyway, I'm lagging myself up. I think it should go a little bit faster now, I'm sure we've had it going faster. But there you go, this is what it would have been like. <laughs> it's painful, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure they go faster than this. So, me and my daughter were playing with this the other day, so maybe it eats through batteries. But you get the idea, you're tethered to a wire, basically. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> right, I can't even take any more of that, to be honest. Uh, I just wanted to show it working, because I say I was amazed that it worked, because when I got it, all the original batteries that have been here for donkey's years had leaked all over the transmitter. So I thought, that's it, that's not going to work. But it works. Anyway, who knows what I'll do with this. I don't know if I'm going to keep it as it is or, you know, rob the body off it and make another body shell for a grasshopper because otherwise I can't really do much with it. Uh, but anyway, uh, there you go. That is a uh, Echo RC flash hopper uh, from 1987. Awesome stuff. Right this back over here that is ridiculous <laughs> right okay so there you go that's the novelty fun out of the way so there you go uh, let me know what you reckon in the comments i really like the body i think it looks uh, pretty smart to be honest let's have a little, little bit close up on the driver figure you can see him in there oh that's uh, you know you get like a whole cockpit steering wheel and everything so you know much better than just the head and body that you get in the like the tamiya ones but yeah 
but there you go so that is my echo rc um clone body on a tamiya grasshopper right cheers for checking this one out much appreciated as always and uh, if you haven't already please consider subscribing to the channel and also come find us on facebook and instagram under andy robinson rc right i'm going now there's lots of cars moving again and we get attacked by flies <laughs> right all right cheers thanks for checking this one out look after yourselves and we'll see you on the next one see ya